A few months ago, my beloved German boyfriend Max and I went to Fredericksburg, Texas to interview a Texan German native. This small little city is known for its rich German history. Walking along the streets, we found this cute little Deutsche Cafe, and so we wanted to put Fredericksburg food to the test. What you are about to see is our review of German food in Fredericksburg. So, we are in a We received German five waitresses. I'm so confused. Honestly, literally five people have already stopped by. They all wanted to serve us. Okay. So, we're in a German restaurant in Fredericksburg, and I just ordered bratwurst with sauerkraut and potato salad. Um, I'm really excited to see if it's authentic. Um, what did you order? I ordered a ham sandwich with sauerkraut. Very good. Very good. Also, I have here a bratwurst sauerkraut sandwich bestellt with kartoffelsalat. I'm very excited to see how it smells. Nein, nicht lecker. <laughs> so then, the sausage is good, but it's not real crabwurst. But this sauerkraut tastes really sweet. It doesn't taste sour at all. I think that's why I didn't like it last time I came. Because I remember the first time I had sauerkraut was here, actually, at this place. And I hated it. But I love German sauerkraut, so... Well... It's a little sour, though. You try it. I mean, it's like, it's okay. if you don't compare it to anything, you can yeah. eat it. It's good, but it's not German sour. It's not sour, Joe. Uh, try the potato salad TV. Mm. Okay, so we just ate at the old German bakery in Fredericksburg. And uh, overall experience because the food wasn't really authentic German. I ate the bratwurst with the sauerkraut and the potato salad. And I'm gonna rate these things on a scale from one to 10. I'm gonna rate the, the bratwurst um, like a six out of 10. I'm gonna rate the potato salad a one out of 10 and the sauerkraut like a two out of 10. Um, it wasn't really authentic at all. And like a whole lot of like the little details, like they have German words in the menu and like in the restrooms too. It's just, they just didn't try to make it authentic. I'm sorry. Not really German. Needless to say, German food in Fredericksburg did not pass the test. But things were about to brighten up for this German man. To Max's pleasant surprise, Fredericksburg had a somewhat authentic alcohol culture. Well, okay. okay. Sidewalk consumption is legal in Fredericksburg and nowhere else. I, I don't know, know if it's nowhere else though, because I think it also is in Galveston. Oh, maybe. Well, you know what? I'm gonna drink cold beer, TDH, because I can drink it on the street. Yeah. Max is trying Deutsch Glühwein. Yeah. Aus Fredericks. It's very different because it's not as sweet. It's a 10. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, it's a 10 compared to the other wines, but it's not as sweet as the Glühwein in Germany. So, I like it. 
And thus, a tipsy German lived a happily ever after in Fredericksburg. Oh, and to make this American girl happy, don't forget to like my video and subscribe. See y'all later. Ciao, tschüss.